Hello, and welcome to TechBoost TV. I'm Jaime, and today, I'm going to show you how to install essential drivers into your Z-Series workstation using an HP driver pack. Sometimes you are able to update all but one or a few drivers using Windows Update or other methods. But what do you do when you have the odd driver left out? How do you install it? Today, I will show you how to manually update these drivers to obtain full functionality of your system. Although this is mainly focused on HP Z-Series Workstation, this process will work for any HP computer and operating system listed on this website page. This process is also specifically for onboard devices. Added peripherals have unique drivers and processes that will not be covered in this video. Begin by confirming which drivers are needed. Open the Device Manager by right-clicking on the Start menu and choosing Device Manager from the drop-down menu. Here you can see each individual device and corresponding driver. In this list are two with an exclamation point. This indicates that a driver is missing and needs to be installed. Both PCI Serial Port and PCI Simple Communications Controller are shown. We will need to install these two specifically. Open your computer's internet browser and search for the term HP 64-bit driver pack. You may also click on the link below or manually type the link into your browser. Select the option beginning with ftp.hp.com. This page is titled Client Management Solutions HP Driver Pack. It contains a list of dozens of HP computers with driver packs for Windows 10, 8.1, and 7, all 64-bit. There are four different driver packs for Windows 10, one for each build. You can verify your build by right-clicking on the Start menu, choosing the System option, and checking toward the bottom. In this example, it is build 1803. If you need drivers for Windows 10, ensure this build number matches the number on the website column. For this example, we are working with an HP Z220. Drivers are not located on this list for Windows 10, but the drivers for Windows 7 are 100% compatible for this situation. On your keyboard, press the Ctrl and F keys together to bring up the search function. Type in the model of your computer and it will bring you to the system. Click the driver pack you need for your operating system and or version number. Click the save option in the case any issues arise during installation. This will begin the download. Depending on your connection and the file size, this could take several minutes. Once the download has completed, select the Open Folder option. This will take you directly to the file you just downloaded. Close the browser window and double-click the application in the folder. Follow the prompts and agree to the terms. Take note of the folder the files will extract themselves to. You will need to locate these to install the drivers. The extraction process may take several minutes. Click Finish when it has completed. Now navigate to This PC on the left-hand side of the File Explorer. Click on your local disk and go to the folder you took note of to locate the driver files. In this case, the drivers are located in the SW Setup folder. Go through each folder until you arrive at the folder with individual component drivers. Keep this open to reference the path in the next step. Open the Device Manager again by right-clicking the Start menu and choosing the Device Manager option. Right-click onto a device that is missing a driver. Select Update Driver and then select Browse My Computer for Driver Software. You will now need to tell the computer where this driver is. Choose Browse and use the drop-down menu to locate the folder of the needed driver. 
you do not need to find the specific driver. Simply choose the folder containing each driver subfolder as shown. The system will locate the specific driver for your hardware and install it. This may also take a few minutes. Once finished, the prompt will indicate the driver was installed successfully and you may close that window. Repeat this process for other onboard components as needed. Again, please note if you are missing drivers for an added peripheral, you will need to refer to the manufacturer's instructions to install those drivers separately. You may also need to restart the system to completely install any driver. You will be prompted if this step is necessary. Once this part is complete, the drivers have been installed for these components. Please be sure to check out our how-to videos covering processor, memory, hard drive, and other component installation for this and other systems. If you have found this helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. We welcome suggestions on how to make these more useful, so please don't be shy with requesting additional content.